Okay, I think I'm live. Welcome to my world. Come on in. Okay, my YouTube has not worked yet, but I will phone a friend again tomorrow and see why I cannot get it to go. Um, so again, we are live here on the Facebook and I am so excited because I have my menu done. My spring menu is done and we are now, the restaurant in the digital home is open and the kitchen is on its way. So today is Tuesday. It is health, wellness, and treats. And I am busy ironing the bandana for today. Today is the day that we talk about the rocks. My question for you today, as we are discussing the questions on my future podcast that I'm going to be hosting, and I'm hoping that those of you that want to be interviewed will be contacting me via the email. Um, some of the questions I'm going to be asking is, who are the rocks that have helped form your life? And for me and my son, it has been coaches. Um, when you're young, you want to try to build a strong foundation in your life. And one of the very first coaches I had outside of my immediate family was a woman in seventh grade. Her name was Edris Meyer, and she was my very first coach that I had, and we called her Mom Myers, and she was my basketball coach, and I would say that she was my heart and soul for giving me the passion for believing in um, myself for the sport, but she gave it to me in a loving way where I would just um, work very hard to please her. And so I don't know who your coaches were or how you started building your foundation for your work ethic when it came to um, finding a strong foundation for what it is you became good at. So what are you good at and what do you love are some of the questions that we'll be asking. And for Tuesdays, it's health and wellness and treats. So for to be healthy, and to have wellness, it is a lot it has to do with what you eat and what type of exercise you love. And tomorrow I go to Pete and Becky's gym. That's what I call my New York gym. So where do you work out? Um, and what type of workouts do you do? Those are the kind of questions I'll be asking. We also have a Perm Area Community Center in our community. Um, and I took my son there and we did lots of um, activities. We had um, activities like our pool. That's a, literally a huge swimming pool that we grew up with here. Very unusual for a small town like we have. Um, and so those are the kind of things. And we had racquetball. Um, so what, what type of activities do you do? We have the land of 10,000 artists, but we also have 10,000 lakes here in Minnesota. And I like to focus on the seasons. Every season in Minnesota is a big deal. So seasonally, what do you do um, with your sports for health and wellness, but also for what do you eat seasonally? Um, in Minnesota, we have a lot of activities seasonally. So rare people and rare places, rare voices. That's what I'm about here on the Seven Days Podcast. So in your rare voices in your head, how do you do your self-talk? When you're talking to yourself, for inspiration on Tuesdays for health and wellness, what type of things do you say? I used to hold up my fist. I used to say, nothing tastes as good as being thin feels, and I used my fist as my guide for how much I ate in the day. When I over-exercised in the day, I knew I had to eat more than my fist three times a day. Um, so those are the type of things um, that I would hear in my head. So what are the type of self-talk that you do when you are trying for health and wellness and fitness. So those are the things that I'm going to be asking um, on my podcast. Lastly, when you are talking about health and wellness, here I just have to get my ironing done just quickly while I am talking to you. Anyway, I did go viral on the YouTube. I don't know if you caught my post. 
So now I'm a viral sensation. Of course, I knew this was going to happen. I prayed it right into my lap. I had to call my son right away. He says, Mom, I already knew that you'd go viral. See, when you set a goal, which is what, you know, we try to do on Tuesdays is set goals. Um, you know, I wrote a book. It's called If You Only Had One Year. And it's about a mother's mission to the National Register of Historic Places. And it's about an opera house in Staples. And I'm going to tell you more about that. But when you have a goal, like with health and wellness, you have to sometimes put that goal on a piece of paper and put it on your wall and say it to yourself every day. So those are the kind of things we're going to talk about here on my on my podcast and I want to hear from you. I want you to help us inspire people and maybe our videos that we do together. But getting back to my address Meyer, she followed our basketball days long after she coached us. She became an assistant coach and then after that she just followed our team throughout the years. And then when I had my son, she followed me to my baby shower and she followed me everywhere I saw her around town and I just loved her forever. But when I became a older in the basketball, her and I came up with a, I call them widgets, to keep the town motivated when we would go from winning to winning we came up with bandanas. She says, when I'm out in the stands and she said, I'm cheering you on, we're gonna wear bandanas. So we had bandana bananas. We would just go and cheer each other on. And so that's what her and I came up with. And my parents wore it, my dad wore it, my sister wore it, everybody in the stands started wearing it. And so when I had my little boy, we had all different colors. We wore them on Mondays, of course, was yellow. On Tuesdays was orange. You know, you're starting to figure it out. And, of course, I added the pom-poms. So on Tuesdays, it's health and wellness, and I hope that you find your widgets. And what kind of widgets do you have to motivate you throughout your week? Do you put up? a little something on your desk to keep you motivated. I want to know what it is. Do you put a rock in your pocket for your worry stone? What are some of your secrets that you keep with you for your anchors? Um, so tell me what they are. I want to know. And I hope that you keep your widgets with you. And I want to, I want to have you inspire others. Becoming a preservationist takes time. And I know that you will value your history. But I also want to know what's next. So I hope that you will share your stories with me and help us celebrate history and then stick around so we can create more. My name is Colleen Liz Frost. I'm an author, I'm a speaker, and most importantly, a mother. And I'm building this digital home and I'm celebrating with you tonight and I'm learning these digital tools. But I'm also viral on the YouTube. So my YouTube channel is listed below there's a like and a share button, and um, and I have my first bully. So they don't even know the power of this bandana. And I've learned that sometimes if you say nothing at all, that that just gives you the freedom to just keep moving forward. But then I also know that I had an address Meyer, and she taught me how to be pretty tough. So ding the bell is what she said. Sometimes you just have to be tough and learn how to box out and learn how to jump high and she was my first coach and she's going to be on my map and she's uh, one of my most special special coaches and I have rare people and I have rare places and I have rare voices dancing in my head and most importantly as a few things that I've kept and I've taught my son I hope to share with you but there's my email on the, um, the panel that I made and I have a menu called spring. It's my spring menu and I'll have one every season. 
So thanks for joining and don't forget and wait till I tell you the story about the little strings and how you'll tie them around your finger and you will remember me. So thank you and I can't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is what's happening and oh my gosh, wait till you hear what's happening this Thursday. So thanks for joining us and oh, my shoe person, one of my favorite people in town, her name is Andrea and I just cannot tell you um, how much I love Perm. So thank you for listening and thank you for my Andrea, my my very favorite person here. Thank you so much. My map. Oh, goodbye. End video.